ultimate goal for the band would be as, as big as we want to take it. To be able to focus on music and not have to worry too much about doing odd jobs on the side and just really focus and, and play and write and record and perform. I'm Andrew Brantley. I play guitar and I'm the lead singer of the Orange Constant. So it started out as myself and uh, Nicholas Benson. We met in college at Georgia Southern University and we met in a music fundamentals class. My name is Nicholas, Nicholas Benson. I've been in the, the band since the beginning, um, which I guess would be five and a half years now. Stylistically, we really don't listen to the same music. I mean, we found crossovers in, over time, but actually right off the bat, it wasn't, it wasn't really a stylistic thing. It was just the fact that both of us were pretty good at guitar and we wanted to be in a band, you know? What's the point of being a one genre band? Like that can get so monotonous after a while. You know, there's something to take away from every style of music. It's not like Southern rock, it's not, um, it's not exactly classic rock, but we, we pull from that classic 70s rock vibe and put a spin on it. So it's just, it's that, it's a classic vibe with a new twist. And so that helps create that, on, on that sound you almost can't pinpoint, which is kind of exciting. We started out in a, in a house in Statesboro. We would put egg crates that you'd put on a bed um, over the windows to try to mimic soundproofing foam. And uh, they're always yellow slash orange kind of color. And when the sun would shine through in the late afternoons where we were practicing, the whole room would be bright orange. Searching for a band name, you know, we went through a bunch of different stuff. And finally we landed with the orange constant kind of symbolizing, you know, the room. The full band has been kind of sporadic, like the original crew played for like two years and we switched bass players and he's been with us for about a year and a half now. Right now Lee, our original guy, has moved on so we've got a new drummer working with us, Sam Groveman. And, uh, at the moment it's really shaping up for his first set of shows. Uh, touring has been mainly weekend warrior, as they call it, touring, where you know we'll run out on a Thursday and come back late Saturday night after a show. For me, it's a totally different experience getting to drive a van and a trailer and playing shows in all kinds of different settings and sleeping in random places. It's it's exhausting, but it's 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 always a good learning experience about how to prepare for a show and be comfortable on the road and keep sane on the road and <laughs> there's a there's just a lot that you learn when you're when you're having to travel and perform every night. But watching it grow has been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Seeing it from you know the first show and the ten people there or less, or you know, four people there, to being able to play some shows now that are just really proud of. Like I mean we did this.